The creator of Star Squidward reached out and gave me the full backstory behind this character, and it goes like this. The story actually starts out with Star Plankton who is dying due to his addiction to chum. And in case you don't know, chum is basically chopped up fish pieces. It is the middle of the night and Plankton is trying to figure out who can take his place once he moves on to the afterlife. The people that he chooses to be his successors are Squidward and Spongebob. He captures and knocks them out while they're working late night at the Krusty Krabs and traps them in small cages. Spongebob wakes up first and he's able to actually escape by turning his body into little pieces and squeezing through the bars. Squidward on the other hand is not so lucky though. He wakes up on an operating table with a bright light being shined down on his face. Plankton then proceeds to force Squidward to eat chump. Plankton tells him if he rejects the food, he will unalive him. And as dark as this is, it gets worse. After eating the chum for a while, Squidward starts to like it. Or more accurately, he starts to become obsessed with it. And now that Squidward is addicted to chum, Plankton tells him that if they join forces, he will give him a special clarinet from the Flying Dutchman that will basically allow him to control people's minds, making it easy to devour them and take over Bikini Bottom. And at this point, Squidward willingly joins forces with Plankton. Soon after they team up, the pair realizes that SpongeBob had escaped, but didn't seem too worried because a robotic version of SpongeBob SpongeBob was already after him. And this is where the mod actually moves on to a chase scene where SpongeBob is in a paddy wagon trying to get away from Robot SpongeBob, who is actually called Flamethrower, which I assume is like a play on the Sonic robot called Furnace. Now, while SpongeBob is driving, Squidward flies near him in a mechanical shell, and SpongeBob is trying desperately to get away from him so that he can go tell Mr. Krabs what's going on. But before he can actually escape, Flamethrower rips through the paddy wagon and actually causes it to explode. This is why we see half of Spongebob's body gone in the mod. His lower half literally got lost in the explosion. Squidward then takes the upper half of Spongebob's body back to the chum bucket so that he can eat on it at his leisure. Now at this point, Bikini Bottom is literally on fire and all the chaos is enough to wake up Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs obviously is confused by all the chaos outside, but he knows that Plankton probably has something to do with it. So he puts on his anti-ghost armor, which you see him actually wearing in the mod and he goes to confront Plankton at the chum bucket. Now when Mr. Krabs arrives, the first thing that he sees is a dinner table covered with pieces of fish. And as he gets deeper into the chum bucket, he eventually finds Squidward standing next to an unalive SpongeBob. When Mr. Krabs sees this, he is instantly enraged because he truly did love SpongeBob and never expected to be betrayed by one of his own workers. Sadly, Mr. Krabs is not strong enough to actually take out Squidward and he ends up getting his head bitten off. Seeing this victory, Plankton is filled with pride, but in that moment of celebration, he didn't realize that Squidward was still hungry. Before Plankton could even react, Squidward picked him up and swallowed him whole. Now even with all this, Squidward is still not satisfied and decides to go to the Bikini Bottom Talent Show, which is the place that he was booed off stage in the Red Mist creepypasta. I'll post a video at the end of this one if you want to know how that story actually goes. Now Squidward goes to this talent show because he has the mind controlling clarinet, which he can use on the crowd to make them easy victims. But before Squidward can actually play the clarinet, Patrick and Mrs. Puff come to the rescue. At this point, the mod has two endings, the good and the bad ending. In the bad ending, Squidward takes over Bikini Bottom using the clarinet to make everyone unalive themselves so that he can feast on them all. He also has plans to take over the entire ocean as well because his hunger at this point is insatiable. Now in the good ending, Patrick is actually able to destroy the magic clarinet using a crossbow and he's also able to unalive Squidward before he can devour anyone. And let's just say he used a common eating utensil in order to do it. In the good ending, we also get to see Patrick go to the gravesite of Mr. Krab and SpongeBob, and he basically just tells SpongeBob how much he misses him especially, and that he wishes he could take his place. He then leaves a jellyfish net on the grave, which if you've ever watched SpongeBob, you know that that was their thing, and that's how the mob basically ends. And low key, that is kind of a sad ending. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video on the screen here, subscribe today to become a member of the Orse Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.